What up y'all and welcome back to the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. As you can see, we just cooked up an amazing seafood spread today. We just made roasted branzino over this delicious eggplant, tomato, red pepper sauce. Oh my gosh, this is a recipe that I know that y'all are gonna run to go and make either for a Sunday or maybe even for love day that's coming up next month in February. But whenever you make it, it doesn't really matter because the recipe is dope. Jesse, is it dope? It's dope. It's dope, y'all. <laughs> One thing I love about this recipe too is that we're actually going to prep the fish and that's a step that people usually have the fishmonger at their local grocery store do or you just buy it already filleted. So this will allow you to appreciate the food that you're putting into your body and have respect too for the animals that have sacrificed their lives for us to enjoy. All right, y'all. If you're ready for this amazing recipe, roll up your sleeves, then let's get started. So the first thing you wanna do is prep your fish. Now when you buy it from the fish market, it's probably already gonna come gutted. Grab yourself some kitchen sears or a really sharp knife and just chop right here. And if you're not comfortable doing this part, you can easily ask the butcher. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your kitchen knife and with the sharp side, you're gonna point it up. So flip it up and you're gonna take the fish and you're gonna scrape it against this guy. And you see, scales just hop out. This is what I like to do in my kitchen. Grab one of those grocery bags, you're gonna descale it that way, and you'll be able to capture a lot of the scale. And once your fish has been descaled, then we're gonna rinse this under cold water, wash out all those scales, and then begin to prep the fish and stuff it. All right, now we're gonna prep the filling for our branzino. It doesn't take too much to season these up. So I've got a nice medley here, rosemary, some oregano, and some fresh thyme. First, we're gonna take some garlic, mince up some garlic, add our garlic to a little mixing bowl, pour in some olive oil, drizzle, drizzle, pepper, some sea salt. Take a lemon, we're gonna slice our lemon in half, we're gonna make little half moons. So before we actually stuff the branzino, we're gonna make three slits in the direction of the gill. Not too deep, shouldn't feel bone at all. You're gonna take some of our lemon, we're gonna stuff them inside of these little slits. And you're gonna open up that branzino pocket. We're gonna take our garlic olive oil mix and just rub it down. Same way we talked about the chicken being ashy, we don't want the fish being ashy. We're gonna take some of our lemons, see how they evenly and easily fit inside that pocket. I'll take some oregano and some fresh thyme, and then one or two rosemary sprigs, and then just stuff them right here on the inside. Then our last bit of work, take the last bit of our olive oil garlic mix, just paint the outside of it, add some black pepper, another pinch of sea salt. There we go, okay. So let's set this aside and let's prepare the base for our roasting. First up, take some cherry tomatoes and we're just going to slice them in half. As a time saver, just use some canned diced tomatoes or canned whole tomatoes. Some eggplant, once I slice these up, I'm gonna salt these and let them rest here for about 10, 15 minutes and then run it under cold water to rinse off that salt. Some red bell pepper and then dice it up. And lastly, garlic and onions. Now I'm gonna grab my five quart Le Creuset Brazier. Ooh. It's agave color, but we call this one, because she can cook, Betty Blue. You heard of Betty White? Have you heard of Betty Blue though? All right, we're gonna fire it up. We're gonna add in some olive oil, drizzle, drizzle, and in go, bell pepper, garlic, and onion. It even sounds different in the Le Creuset. <laughs> add in the eggplant. As the veggies are cooking, I'm gonna sprinkle in some of the fit cooked land seasoning. In goes the tomato. I'm gonna elevate the flavors a little bit, add in some dry white wine, pour this in. It's an optional ingredient. I just think it adds a lot of body. And we're just going to reduce everything in this wine. We're gonna pour in some seafood broth or some seafood stock, bring this to a simmer. Then we're gonna add in a tablespoon or two of some tomato paste, fold this in. Then we're gonna partially cover and cook this for at least 15 minutes. And after about 15 minutes, beautiful. You see it's much more of a paste now, almost like a stew. Take your branzino. I'm gonna top off a little bit of the tail. It fits comfortably in the brazier. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna roast this in the oven for about 25 minutes at 420. After 25 minutes, oh my God. We are so proud of this. Oh, Betty Blue. You did it again. Our final bit of flavoring here, I'm going to 
sprinkle in some capers and a few Kalamata olives. It looks good. Do you want to smoke it? You want to smoke this real quick? Really? Yeah. Okay. All right, hold on. And, papa. Mm, oh. That smoke. <laughs> <laughs> smoke Branzino. <laughs> Bro, this smells fire. This smells, come on. This dish deserved the Le Creuset Agave. Valentine's Day is coming up. This is the banger to make. Heck yeah, that's good. How is it? It's okay? You might have to open your own restaurant or something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on by. Wow. All right, guys. If you like videos like this, I invite you to smash that like button below. I can't wait for you to try this. It's amazing to cook a recipe that maybe stretches you in a different way. And if you've never prepped your own fish before, this would be a recipe to go ahead and do it. And before you leave, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. And remember, you have to click on the bell. You gotta ring it, ding, 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 so that you can be notified every time we post hot new content here in the Fit Man Cook Kitchen. Cannot wait for y'all to go and recreate this. I can't wait to eat this after this video. All right, y'all, until next time, I want y'all to keep it healthy, but of course, never ever boring. Ooh, bye y'all.